In this example, I'm going to show you how to run a two-way ANOVA test in Sigma XL. Now, as shown on the screen here, you can see that the two-way ANOVA tests the following. Uh, for factor X1, uh, the null hypothesis is that all means are equal, and the alternative hypothesis is that at least one pairwise set of means are not equal. Now, for factor X2, the null hypothesis is the same, that all means are equal, and the alternative is that at least one pairwise set of means are not equal. And lastly, for the interaction, the null hypothesis is that there is no interaction between factors x1 and x2, and the alternative is that there is an interaction between factors x1 and x2. Uh, now, typically a two-way ANOVA analysis requires that you have balanced data with an equal number of observations for each combination level of x1 and x2. Now, in practice, this is not often the case, and it is therefore not possible to perform a two-way ANOVA test. Sigma XL, however, accommodates to unbalanced data. The minimum requirement is one observation per combination level of X1 and X2. An error message will be produced if this minimum requirement is not met. Now, for this example, we are using the Customer Data Workbook, and that's available in the Sample Data folder, which is in Sigma XL's installation directory. So once you have Customer Data open, click on Statistical Tools, and select Two Way Nova. Now for our numeric data variable, select average number of orders per month. Now for group factor X1, select customer type. And for group factor X2, select size of customer. Now remove fit interaction model should remain unchecked. And you can click on OK. Now you can see here that the two-way ANOVA is produced. Now, uh, note the mean value shown are fitted means, or predicted means, and not data means. And uh, we can look at the two-way ANOVA table, and we can see that customer, the customer type term, uh, or rather the size of customer term, is significant. Uh, it has a p-value here of less than 0.05. Customer type is not significant by itself, but the interaction term is significant. This indicates that the effect of size of customer on average number of orders per month depends on customer type. Now, we could also equivalently say that the effect of customer type depends on size of customer. Now, this is also confirmed looking at the main effects and interactions plot, which you can view if you just scroll down. Now, customer type, we can see uh, by itself, is not significant. However, size of customer is obviously significant. And looking at the interaction plot, now the different slopes illustrate that the change in average number of orders per month across customer type depends on size of customer. Now this uh, interaction effect is particularly evident for customer types 2 and 3. Now we can also uh, view two-way residuals uh, plots if you click on the two-way residuals worksheet. And we can see the residual graphs here. Uh, now residuals are the unexplained variation from ANOVA model, uh, actual minus predicted or fitted values. We expect to see the residuals approximately normally distributed with no obvious patterns in the above graphs, which is the case here.